Hi, and welcome to Mini Jack. Today is another uh, special episode, and I will be playing again with this uh, huge uh, 8x8 uh, VCA matrix. Uh, I introduced it in the, in the last episode. I will put the link in the description and maybe somewhere here. And today I I try some more uh, complex patch to for for you to hear. And uh, I I wanted to to start from a blank a matrix mixer and patch it live, but it's really too uh, too complicated as you can see. There's always the voodoo effect, as uh, Richard Devine used to call it, which I really love. So I left it patched uh, with uh, with some parameters that I will go through during the, the demo and the track, basically. So the, the basic operation of this patch is uh, I have um, a synth here on my tablet. It's called DRC synth, which sounds like that. This is without the patch influence. It's just a very nice pad and also some resonance here, but I will not use it a lot. I don't need it. So I will just use it as a sound source, basically, so to demonstrate the, the gating and the effects of the VCA. Uh, I have this uh, really nice pad and uh, I will be getting with this. Sounds really eerie and all scattered up. And so uh, this is one sound source. The other sound source is uh, my phone with a polyrhythmic um, metronome, which is set as 79 BPM with. Um, with a 5 on 4 polyrhythm and it sounds like these and during the patch you will not hear this sound basically I chose the, the sounds of the cowbell and the, and the kick just because they have uh, uh, different volumes from each other and I can use it to trigger the VCAs in uh, slightly different ways and then I am using uh, this uh, Zoom 505, it's a digital multi-effect uh, pedal, guitar pedal, uh, which is basically uh, feeding up, it's, it's uh, uh, feeding back, sorry, it's, it's a feedback loop, which is being triggered by a, a complex um, routing of different signals I'm not really sure I can really explain how how it works but I, I will try so this is distracting yeah uh, here I have my uh, feedback which generates uh, here here I have the the pedal uh, going in and feeding, uh, feeding back out or whatever the opposite and here I have the VCA that's controlling it and here I have a little mix of things I have basically the um, polyrhythm from the from this phone which is in turn gated uh, with the VCA always on the envelope follower setting with uh, yeah, I forgot about it. I have a square wave uh, with my function generator. It's a one hertz square wave. We cannot really hear it. Maybe we will just hear some click, probably. Yeah, that's it. Which is uh, high and low, high and low, half a second, basically, because it's one hertz, 50% uh, duty cycle. So I am hearing a polyrhythm half a second at a time, not always. And of course they are not in sync, 
so it's always evolving it will always be uh, different basically and then I have uh, basically some uh, some loop in the signal I can really explain everything but I will let you hear the result so this is the zoom feedback gated with some uh, with some of the of the synth inside we can take it out and this is the synth gated by so we can always inject some of the scenes in the in the feedback and they have different uh, effect combinations I can cycle through this one this is a delay it sounds always the same by itself but if I insert some of the synth inside feedback loop we have some nice tonal variation some uh, acoustic distortion and some uh, reverb this is a nice transition you can play with some glitch kind of with a with a patch with a distortion This is a octave doubler. It's quite loud, so I want to keep it down. And of course, we can play a bit with uh, various sources. For example, this one is controlling the VCA of the synth we are hearing. If we put some of the square wave on the function generator, we will have longer. If we put it at the maximum, it will overdub uh, all the other signals. And of course, I have the switches so I can. This instrument uh, leaves uh, quite a bit of uh, a room for improvisation and manual uh, playing, so it relies on your muscle memory, uh, which is, I think, is very nice. You, you can program it in a way that it just plays and it goes by itself, but of course, you can also play with it. And you can mix different signals, different amounts in each loop. So now it's very ray, very sparse on the feedback loop. No, 
I can always bring up the synth. And all of this with just basically uh, two sound sources. I have uh, the synth pad, which will sound just yeah. It doesn't sound like this anymore, but yeah, used to sound like that. Very simple and a polyrhythm, uh, polyrhythmic um, metronome on the phone, and then various effects interesting is that uh, with a muted knob you can kind of uh, program and, uh, and save a, a level and then recall it. This one for example uh, affects both the feedback loop and, uh, and the synth gating. feed it up with a square wave we have more steady kind of envelope
So, I think that's it and as you can see it's kind of easy to, to get lost, it's like, I don't know, playing uh, an actual instrument is like I, I build a guitar and then, yeah, expect to play it for a demo but yeah, it's, you really need uh, a lot of time to get acquainted with, with all the function but as you can see and here is kind of endless uh, possibilities and I will have to part ways with my baby here so in the new videos uh, expect new machines and I have a backlog of a lot actually uh, new configurations and new machines so yeah, if you liked this video, please give me a thumbs up. Do not forget to subscribe to the channel so that you can stay tuned and stay tuned for more videos.